Hey, hey, everybody. Okay, let me just put out the uh, cattle call, as it were. Throw this out on Discord. Twatters. How have you all been tonight? Haven't really been... Haven't really been talking... Too hard right now. Everybody else, uh... Make it through the day alright. What's this here? I hope so. Ah. Here we go, Stanley Parable. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Let's just hop right on in, shall we? Hey, ShadyG. Hey, Tass. Hey, Lobo Plays. Hey, Ultra Nerd. Hey, NASCAR Fast 48 Cherry. Hey, Sam Pigman. Hey, Rilani. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Okay. Uh, oh. I'm a dumbass. Whoopsie doozy. The Stanley Parable Ultra the Deluxe Edition. There we go. I keep forgetting to change it from Minecraft to the actual thing in question, so... Ah, oh, well. Yeah, this is from uh, 2013, but also 2022. So, whatever. Uh, according to my time, it is 8.04. So we shall go from there. I have no idea what will happen. I've never touched the game. Hang on, hang on. Uh, okay. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times I booted up the game. Yeah, yeah, I booted up the game the first time to get the uh, thumbnail picture, but, like, I didn't actually... Why did I seem rather tired at the start of stream? Because I, I worked all day. It happens, NASCAR. Anyway... Thank you for actually setting the clock both times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it noticed that I did that. Very interesting. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave it at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set that clock and you appreciate it. <laughs> okay. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have to have a way of knowing if the time you're setting is correct. Yes, you do. You just check if system time is the same. For you, it's 9.04. Yeah, you're an hour ahead of me. What game am I playing? Towdy's. Read the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. It's right here. Anyway, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whatever time you want, even if it's not the correct one. You've earned it. <laughs> God. Okay, well, you know. Oh no, the stream's not going to end soon. Don't worry, Sam, I just started. Alright, I'll let you get back to your video game now. Uh-huh. I haven't even gotten to muck about in the settings. That's my favorite part of the game. Okay, video, apply resolution, huh? Borderless V-Sync. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we just got your standard WASD space. Interact, crouch is left control. You know, I'm actually not happy with that. I like left shift because Minecraft... Minecraft has ruined me for the crouch button, I have found. Okay, field of view 72, I guess that's normal. Mouse sensitivity feels fine. Yeah. Okay. This all seems pretty straightforward. Let's just jump on in, shall we? Never seen anything about the Stanley Parable. I have seen like two or three videos. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh employee man, seven away from the weed number, damn it. Was simple. 
He sat at his desk Imagine being employee number 420. How awesome would that be? Who inverts the Y exactly, Icarus? Monsters, that's who. How long to push them? Now, I did see a bunch of videos on this way back in the day when it first came out because it was a popular thing back then. But, like. Others might have considered it eh. soul-lifting, Stanley relished every moment that I might run through a few of these just for fun, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, but I know there's a ton of new stuff, Stanley and I'm looking forward to starting that. But I don't want to, like, rush. I want to savor it, you know? Day, something very peculiar happened. The game something started up. Something that would forever change Stanley. Yeah. Something he would never quite forget. Being he trapped in a video game, for right. Nearly an hour. When he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Yeah, to be Something fair. Was very clearly wrong. Shocked, people don't really end solid. up in Stanley found himself unable to move for a, a totally but as he came isolated environment that just never happens in real life you're always surrounded by people and stepped out of his office so yeah okay so what is this poncho hamster this is the stanley parable uh what it is exactly is well it's a lot easier to show than it is to explain basically we are at the mercy of the narrator, at least from what I can understand. And also, does he not have working LED, or not LED, working um, fluorescent lighting in his office? What the fuck? Anyway, sadly, we are not employee 420. Oh, well. Who is the lucky All bastard who is? All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So yeah, uh, the earlier... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace <laughs> of his co-workers. Yes, 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 they're not here, but I'm not looking for that. Also, when I move, I, I like kind of slide when I stop. I don't know if I like that or not. I hope there's a way to disable that, or it may not matter. But at any rate, yes, so uh, this is just a sort of bizarre scenario we find ourselves in. And uh, we just kind of... Ah, here he is. This this is the desk slash office of the lucky bastard in question. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I don't want to do it. Shut up, narrator. I don't have any... Hello, what's this? How the mighty have fallen. Oh, there's no zoom. Shit. Damn, when's the last time you saw a giant box PC like this? I I can't remember the last one I saw. Hello, 4B6, 425. Interesting, that poor guy has two doors into his office. He'll never get any privacy. I tell you what. What the? Doing some maintenance in this guy's. Hey, Shade GG. What? Five clicks on uh, 430? Okay. Oh, oh, you wanted to get my attention. Okay. 430. Uh, 456. Four, damn, that's like... There's just so much. That didn't go anywhere. Now, I know there are a ton of Easter eggs and other things like that. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no. Maybe. No, no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. Immediately yes, you can. Five clicks. I'm clicking more than that. You were to click the door twenty. I've already I surpassed twenty. That's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. But I've already done that. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling <laughs> the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. I like this. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Shut up and give me my achievement. Now, I'm not the type to actually follow orders. No, I'm very much the fuck the police fear. kind of guy. Achievement to have meant so, something. um... It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. 
Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Fine then. But however, this game is very much focused on being a robot for a time. Or at least starting out that way. 417 here we are. Nothing in there, but alright. And so Ooh, like great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. The idea is that I do want to follow orders for a bit. I'm very independent. I don't like following orders. I do not I don't like taking orders. Like it's just me in person. But like it's kind of the point of the game, you know? So I will do it for now. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. God, this is retarded. I love it. Uh, where even is 415? Have we even seen 415 yet? There it is. Now, back to door number 437. Yes, sir, Sheriff, sir. God, Jesus. Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't jump. I've noticed that. Uh, what would he say? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where's the copy machine? I do kind of want to just follow it, rote lockstep the first two two-ish times but after that i'm on my own i'm doing whatever the hell i want to do yeah freedom woo where the hell is the copy machine okay i can't say i'm not going to get bored of doing every little menial task i'm set to do but, uh... I do like that you can screw around in the environment and it when will end Stanley up... When Stanley came to a set of two open oh, doors, he entered the door on his left. I can't left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to and stop just by the employee me lounge first, just to admire it. <sighs> oh, wow. Yes. Truly a room worth admiring. This it looks like the uh, worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It really is. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But yeah, these uh these vending machines look like the uh, vending yes. machines from. Yes, really, really. Shut up, narrator. Here in the room, a room so utterly captivating. That even though yes, yes, all they're gone. I, I get it. Mysteriously vanished, this asshole's talking is uh, distracting my train of thought. Really I hate that. It. Anyway, these look like the uh, vending machines from um, Super Liminal. That was it. Like how you could trick the uh, drink those or not? Room you could shrink and grow them in the drink. That was it. On his over, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. There's the copy took machine. The first open door on his left to get back to business. Well, I wanted to get the copy machine, Mr. Narrator. That's what you told me to do. Maybe this isn't the right copy machine. I don't know. Can I just click a random door? Will he... No? <gasps> nope. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Well, hey. I did say I wasn't the type to take orders, and, uh, sometimes I meant that. Also, what the hell is this place even for? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause imminent death. Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping is 5000 Nice. Will it let me? Yes, it will let me. Holy shit. I could feel myself sinking over the edge. Vent to access this for trained employees only. Climb at your own risk. Um, how? I can't jump. No, black. Go back. Love the broom closet ending. Uh, well, the thing is, a game like this has so many different endings that uh, we will be here for quite a while if I try Look, going Stanley, I think perhaps for everyone. Off on the wrong foot here. I'm we not have? your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control <laughs> I didn't of the even story jump. and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley yes. left from the platform and plunged to his death. Actually, Good physics job, did that. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. 
Okay, the broom closet ending. Let's try that one, Shade. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The Perhaps meeting room. he had room. simply missed a memo. Like, I was on the edge and it was moving, and physics objects and source don't tend to like moving objects on the edge of other when objects. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Psych. Psych. Oh, no. Don't you fucking dare. No, I will not be shut out. Fuck you. <sighs> well, hey, I tried, you know. How far in can I go before it shuts? Yet there was yep. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to let it ball up inside you. Office, Take it out passive aggressively on others and resent coworkers for not supporting you more. I love this. I love this style of writing, this humor. This is so Portal 2, I love it. And uh, Super Liminal had a bit of touch of this type of writing in it as well. I do. I, whoa, what the? Oh, this is the use key. And if you click them both, you walk. Okay. I didn't know using my mouse would do that. Interesting. Anyway. Things, money, more money, more things to buy with money, more things, graphs, graphs about things and money. Oh boy. I get the feeling these people don't fully understand what it is that they're meant to be. Rate at which charts on the same color of pie chart something. Rate of increased graphs per slide. Please, no more charts, I'm begging you. <laughs> what else am I missing? Boss appreciation minute. No, I won't be doing that. Ah, the broom closet ending, Shade. Look, isn't it a very broom closet? Can I break the glass? Uh, probably not. So if I go in here too deep, this will shut on me and I'll be, tra I'll be trapped. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. What if I went into the broom closet repeatedly? What if I just... There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Yeah, just stay here, okay. empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom <laughs> closet. I'm he standing in it. doing anything. Oh no, the stream is lagging. something to Fuck. interact with. He, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Uh, hold on a sec, guys. I will, I'll figure it out. Fuck. Okay, I think I got it back under control, but we'll see. Uh, stream health seems to be okay now. So we'll see if YouTube uh, decides to behave and catch up as well. Sorry about that, I have no idea what the hell just went on. Please close the door. Yeah, I, I will, but like, I gotta get this thing back on track. I don't know why it decided to just be a little bitch all of a sudden out of nowhere, but whatever. Okay, well, uh, we're just gonna hope and pray that's enough. Okay. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yes, I'm Standing still in the broom closet. Doing nothing. Why? Please I'm, offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I love how intricately they've uh, just. 
They've gone to every major. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <laughs> if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Well, anyway. So yeah, it's just I love how intricately they've detailed Maybe every possible choice you could make. It's, it's so cool. Path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Well, I mean, I'm not that concerned. God, Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Jeez. Also, Stanley's what? addicted to drugs and hookers. Jesus, dude. This is a family-friendly channel, probably. How do you know I'm not, well, like, gonna report you? I come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. When in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. But there's nobody here. How Hello? is there anyone to anyone do anything? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. Sanic. They fall and pray to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative I know, I feel of pretty lively to you. To me. Species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative, narrative tropes, tropes in, in video, video gaming. gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any work. Coming to a staircase, In the first Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What was that about the second player doing worse than the first? I might just. I warn you. I'm bad at following orders. And also, why can't I read that? Why didn't they give me a zoom function? Like, seriously. Well, hopefully every internet snafu from this point forward is solved for our five but Stanley ever. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Why his is this impossibly small crazy. parking space in and here? And then something occurred. How did this car even get in here? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <gasps> down? Oh my god, I'm a disembodied ghost! ...automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Oh my god, no, they're repeating. Stanley said to himself, this is all or am I repeating? Strange. This can't be real. And at last, I don't know. He came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Nice. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. <laughs> and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Can't do anything with anything. I don't Why like that. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? 
Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he okay, thought now we're getting too many layers and down. If this Jeez. voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Hey now, now I can't guarantee that. Was quite a shock to what if we're all just some all, some byproduct of Butterfly's down, dreaming that sleep that cycle or some shit? Dream. Did the you voice know? not see him float huh? and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Wake he me the up! Cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Wake me up the inside! The mattress on his back. I can't wake the fresh up. The air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I can see I want something on like the horizon. And my wife. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Hmm. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I know, I love this game too, Phantasma. I am okay. I feel like that's like a cry for help of some kind. Just kidding, everything is exactly as it was. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone oh, tell God. me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Nice. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> uh... Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Wow, depressing. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting Damn. to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Wow. And then she turned and ran. Callous. Yeah, some people live a, cowardice, a cowardly life like that. That's really sad. Ah, well. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What Stanley could it decided mean? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When now, Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the I could door do that. left. But this I want to ride the, the lift again. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just, just to, to admire, admire it. it. So yeah, this is uh, wow. not a bad little yes. this room. gimmick, what I guess. But, eager to get but I kind of want to just fuck Stanley around and see where I can go and what all is left. around me. No. I'm going to ride that Stanley lift. Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. No, we've I'm gotten off sure on the right foot. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact now, is can that I the get story has been catwalk. about nothing but you all this time. 
There's someone you can. Yes, I can. Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? No. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show no, you, you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. You let want me to prove annoy me. That I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Warning, do not stand on the other side of this fence. Uh oh. I'm now being listen, led down a rat this hole. Is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No. I refuse. I must find the way. The way that will lead me back. The blue door. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Holy shit. Stanley walked through the Stop red door. Stop blinking me. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through... All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You I do. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road? I want to see where your, what well, the end of your tether looks like. Stop you. Oh, shit. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, wow. exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes, actually. This is awesome. The entire story I had written out specifically for you. Yep. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Ah, well, and I mean, you know, we're nobody's all for perfect. nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yeah. Help me here, it was. Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Apple. Work with me. You that would have made the game better. Absolutely nothing so Apples. far. Tell you what. And portals. Take a stab in the dark at a new design. And intelligence dampening feedback. spheres. There we go. A third <gasps> option. A third it's option. The feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Yes, it does. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would uh, you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes, it did. Feel free to be honest. Is wait, is one good or bad? Real critical feedback here. Uh. I'll just go with the safe three. Oh, of course. A three. Yes. Really. Mediocre, Maybe like my existence. You to form an actual opinion, you know? No, I don't want to do that. I want to see what's over there. Engagement with your surroundings. Does that sound good? Think I do. Do that? Yes. Mm. But I'd rather have Valve Wonderful. make an experience like that. I don't really. Yeah. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Oh boy. Perfectly candid. I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Does it let me get Let's over to that that platform there? What the fuck? Worldwide leaderboard. Ooh. Good old Neil is offline. First. Skid. Are those real people? Probably not. 21.3% skip the intro sequence. Only the worst 3% of players choose the blue door. Huh. 98.9, .9, whatever. Who cares? Office space. Control C. Ceiling light. Oh shit, I'm trapped again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Yes. Hey, I Two. nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh shit. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You huh. click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. Really? But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Really? What if I enjoy watching the baby burn? You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Yes. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might I mean, what if I just wanted to make me. some baby-based kindling? I mean, what's I'm the out. problem with I'm that? Out. I'm done. It's over. Oh, no. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. It was? Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. A better game? Let's see. 
What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Yes. Oh, this I can't seems interact. Like it'll with it. work. Let's give it a shot. I love this. There's so many open. Are you uh -huh. serious? Fascinating. Firewatch. What do you think this game is about, Stanley. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Mm. I actually did well, play it this seems game. It's obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some creep. sort of twisted erotic purpose. No, that's not mm. what this game's about at all. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of Firewatch was a bit of a dud, depravity. in my so opinion. Far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and Patriots, see what else Birds is out of there. Wyoming, Singular Mind. This is actually a very valuable, very important job. You're uh, in the middle of summer, stationed in, I think, Wyoming somewhere. You're basically trying to prevent uh, forest fires from breaking out. You report them and, you know, the fire department takes care of it. But it ends up unfolding into a much deeper and more interesting story. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have minded that game. But, um... I don't know, you're not supposed to be a creep watching anyone from a creep tower. What if it was Minecraft in 2013? That would have been interesting. But uh, Firewatch was a little avant-garde. What the fuck? Is that a... F or no, that's just a li Okay. I thought that was like a floating item like what you'd no, find no. in a collectathon. No, 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 it can't be. What can't be? Ooh. What can't it be? A it beautiful... Is. It's an open world game. Oh, oh I know. God, quickly, block it off. Oh. Ugh. Fuck you. Thank goodness, Stan. I love open Just world cool. shit. How you could really you? wandered off into that... That thing. That big open... Just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can nah. just go in any... Oh. 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 Thank you. Nauseating. We it. How could he? Woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Let Let's me guess, the Stanley Parable. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> Jonesy Lake. <laughs> okay, I think There's this... has gotta be a way out of here, right? The thing. Fortnite, later shaded. Oh, what the fuck? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what is I had. Is this Rocket League? Like. Yes, Just it a is. a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now, this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Is that a challenge? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall Can run I be the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, shit. Can I? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm fast. What the fuck? How am I this fast? Nice. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Not quite. Is it better than my miserable little story that I yes. worked so hard on? It's actually Stay quite good because this game has sold millions and, I and millions. I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw Hello, adrenal pleasure, oh, then I can't go in there. Multiple seriously? balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. It I'm might. Going to try it out. Here comes another ball. There's another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Oh, more it doesn't balls. even go into the... Uh-oh. I didn't even know it would do that. Car ball, yep. Whoa. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Whoop. This is awesome as shit. I love this. Guess I fell down to here. Okay. Ooh. 
You know, I'm actually kind of a fan of dark, dingy architecture and run-down looking places. Like, there's something comforting about them sometimes. Oh, this was the uh, left-right door uh, choice. That's a well-lit hallway. I don't like that. Me no likey. Don't get a goal? No, you can't get a goal. It wouldn't let me. Okay, so that was the uh, conference room. Oh, am I in a small trapped area? I have to go there. Or maybe not. Oh, I can't go this way. Shid. Well, on the bright side, I can um, wander in circles. Okay, well, obviously I have to fall for it and go down the bright lit hallway they want me to. Yeah. They're not going to let me really, truly deviate from any real paths. It's always fun to, like, push the limits of what the game will let you do. Think we lost him? No, I don't think so. That, however, does look sus. Makes me wonder what all he's got in whatever secret hole, hideaway, wherever he is. Hey, here's 427. Wow. That sounds familiar. Why can't I screw with any of these? Yeah, I can't do anything. Hmm. This game is crazy, yep. Whoa, what the fuck? I what? wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Yes, very. If he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. But what if it's already the end? When games have bugs, but the devs just call it a feature. Well, I think this was intentional. Yeah, there we go. Aw. Started me over, over. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And when Stanley came to when the door, Stanley he went to, to the right. Of two right. Open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew. But it was the correct well. way to my favorite Perhaps toy. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The my lounge toy. Was sublime, a work of art. Past but the employee here, lounge. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley went straight ahead, toward his new toy. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't. I do actually want to see where this goes. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. You sure about that? I'm not that? your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. My mom! Please, stop oh crap, it was a Mother's Day and I didn't get her a gift. Crap! I'm not what asking am I? For me. How awful am I? Asking. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. I've got to go get that Mother's Day aside. gift. To let her back Damn into it. your life. She's been waiting. Wait, what? Is he talking about my girlfriend slash wife? Or is he... Hmm. That's her, Stanley. Who's her? Mama? What the fuck? Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Bread. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> Jesus, that's creepy. Gotcha. 
Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come well. inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Hmm. Well, I can't see anything else, so why Stanley not? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Why is the bedroom blocked off? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's doing. Oh told no, to it's going to put me back in my now cubicle. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But did I really, though? But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. I feel like this was desk, foisted upon Stanley me. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Aww. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. <laughs> Spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this ah, fantasy I knew world, it. he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Yellow line. And down another Wait, was a line? With a baby. And As in the app on the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Press K to tell your kids a story. Did it they have to such copyright a wonderful that? Wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he Very interesting. it again and then again and, and then again, again and then again, and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. It's addictive, I know. Press but X, no tell your wife you love her, press X to doubt. Be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Oh no, the floor that changed. as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? You know what? I'll not do this one. Just because I'm such a nice guy. Hey, Morbid Rain. You like this game? Okay. I do too. It's actually really intriguing and very quaint. But I don't think it's going to let me... Yeah. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. There's a Minecraft world? Really? Fuck. Not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I'll have to, like, screw around in this later to get Perhaps, to there. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Wow, Rip. What an ending.
Well, hey, on the bright side, at least we can do some wacky the shit like room. that. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Mm -hmm. There's stuff back there, and I kind of want to. When Stanley came to a set, but I think we'll find out what doors, that is later. He entered the door on his left. Never know what door might be open. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no, 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 no not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Well, with an attitude like that, I might just live in here. Just kidding. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So I've kind of already picked up on how it does what it does. Whenever you walk through a doorway, it triggers flags that basically put you onto different routes. So basically, just don't walk through the doorway in such a way that you trigger whatever the flag is. So I guess we'll go through the normal route or whatever. Ah, the executive shitter. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. I mean, nobody would write that on their wall, but sure, whatever. Nobody's that pretentious. Oh ho! The beige pages. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Business strategy put a gun to a fucking panda's head. Hmm. What does that say? I am the most expensive boss. Sure. But wait. Stepping into his manager's office, no one's Stanley here. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he Certificate could not have of pompousness. Was that the I love it. Behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley <gasps> happened to input the correct gasp code by sheer luck. Oh, he stepped shock. into the newly opened passageway. Oh ho! Oh, I can't slip down there. Damn it! Mm. Descending oh, that's... deeper into the building, okay. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. I thought it was a reset of the route there for a minute. For himself, to question the nature of his job. Okay. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But but what about the escape? Oh man, I guess I gotta get my mind controlled. Hmm. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Already I can see a ton of Portal 2 assets being reused. I like it. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. 
Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Gasp. Is this the pretentious message he was trying to show me the whole time? Gosh, what a fool I was forever deviating from his amazing and awe-inspiring message. Where does this take me? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I mean, no. maybe. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? God, that's annoying. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This whole story reeks of, like, the first type of story that someone writes. And by that I mean not like the themes themselves are, are like all that special, but that, um, like, this guy has so much, I don't know, faith in his own writing ability that like, oh, well, this, this, must, this must be my magnum opus. It's like so magnanimous and sprawling and it's got a great message and all that other garbage. But in reality, it's just like, yeah, this is just the first thing that came to my head. And I devoted all this time to sharpening a rather lackluster idea and it's only like slightly better. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty his obligation to turn to it on and oh Stanley you <laughs> didn't just activate the controls did you yes after I did. they kept you enslaved all these years you yep. go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself is that right, what fine you I'll want? turn it off I'll turn control? it off shut up oh, Stanley I applaud your effort I really do but you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do you were supposed to let it go turn the controls off and leave. Turn it on and if leave? You okay. If you my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated <laughs> the network's emergency detonation I kind of figured system. that would happen. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Damn. How long until detonation then? Mm, a minute. Say, um, two minutes. Two minutes. Wow, ah, he did me one better. It's a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's yeah, your marginal. time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More hmm. time to talk about you, about Where's me, the one? Where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. Fail safe. What's hmm. that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, Three. I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to they them. They never existed. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other huh. times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away There's from you... There's probably a secret... I almost hate to see it go, top five. but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will Press be any key even better. 
My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so Oh wow, much. so this just makes you know sense. To hell How very interesting. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? Four. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time Three. doesn't grow on trees. Oh ah, dear me, what's one. the matter, Stanley? Is Two. it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every well, little thing in this Well, I can smell there's a secret here, numbers. so I want to, like, try and uncover it, you know? Bombs, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you no, say something here will uncover... That oh. this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Now you're I only somehow still playing that. instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. Press number two and see but if that I'm does anything. destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 Goodbye, seconds employee 427. Wow. 30 seconds until a big boom. Wait, what? Nothing. No ending here. Oh, okay, sorry. Blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another I mean, choice. there's not much else I can do. Make it as well. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Nice. I love how well cut that is. You peeked at TV 427 it was the same as the others, yeah. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. That's good. Oh, it's almost like they knew or something. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm not having you repeat that again. Okay. Stepping into We're his supposed manager's to destroy office, the machine Stanley whatever, right? was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. To nobody. to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried. I genuinely forget feet. the um and so the boss had the assigned it an extra secret. Was pin it forty two something? Two eight. Oh no. Four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input ah. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This time, I can't... Okay, that was it. This time, I kind of want to see what exactly the ending he wants me to see is. Red mind control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? I mean, this is the most impractical way to watch anything ever. So you know, whatever. You need a binoculars just to be able to see one or two of these screens at a time. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. 
Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control I just, facility, it was too horrible to believe. This whole be premise true. is just too flimsy. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this It's not time? even that interesting. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Like, the narrator can't possibly believe this is a good idea for a story. Magical mind control device controls no, entire he refused employee he regiment. He accept it. His like, own life in nah. someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that All right, stop droning on, Jesus. Fucking pretentious asshole. I get it. I'm supposed to turn the damn thing off. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. <sighs> Freedom was mere moments away. Sure. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he Wait had a minute, this seeking, is a staircase. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Where even no is longer this? would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he Okay, so this to seems to be the edge. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. But wait. What if I don't? Ah, oh, shit. Stanley felt the cool breeze an upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Nah. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yeah, like, this is just a very bad, flawed concept for an idea. Like, it just sucks as a narrative. Like, it's not fun to just. You're free now, All and that's of his the end of it. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> Gasp. Shock and awe. Bullshit I've not touched before, but actually there's a lot of other stuff I've not touched before. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not left. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire Now, I'm not quite sure how many other... Alternative endings Stanley there are in this incredible room. before I tackle Stanley the quote the new content topic, eager to get back to business So I don't know we'll, we'll see the first open door on his left Yeah, new game dev with a with too much pride in his and work. So yes detour through the maintenance section walk straight ahead to the opposite door. Nope and got back on track I'm too eager to fart around in places. I'm not supposed to be But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office he wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, from here, it's, um... Left. I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. 
Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Is it to the it's back? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We the narrator's narrative may suck, but the game's narrative down. doesn't. No, no, the game itself right. is amazing. Yeah. Yep. Just okay. that, okay. like, okay. clearly let's... this guy is too heavy-handed and can't have his ego be this checked way. or critiqued in any way. And it's just like... I don't give a fuck. I enjoy deviating. No, oh wow, it's no, here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here, here yet. yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh, I kind of figured All it would of do that. All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait a minute. Oh, it didn't do the new content. Shit. Am I gonna have to beat the game? When Stanley? Wait. Oh wait, never mind. We're on a different track. No. I no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... A... Well, oh, I no. mean, maybe. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Pick a door, Let's any find door. The story. Hmm. Oh God! Now I'm stranded in the back rooms. But Stanley Parable flavored. Honestly, I wouldn't mind the back rooms, but the Stanley Parable, or something like that. That could actually be a pretty killer idea. Hello, this is new. Hmm. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding this back is the to let you torture. Adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh Why wow. Not? Oh shit. I was just about to point out they hadn't modeled the back of the uh Back of the filing cabinet. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Aw. Nope. We're still on the. We're still on okay, the bad track. Yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I'm interested to see where this little windy, twisty uh, track takes us. What about in here? Is the story in here? Did they file it away in some nook or cranny that nobody looked? Nope. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> I love how ass backwards you can suddenly get. Oh shit! It's all broken and now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It is that correct? No, mm. it's not correct. It, it took place in an abandoned that? warehouse. Well, do you know what? I Since very, I very vividly remember it being in an abandoned be warehouse. How about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay. What do I win? I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So oh, shit. Good job. This this whole uh, room oh, section just got smaller. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square. Yeah, but I mean, I don't mind being handed the win. Situations. Okay. I'm not one I'm of those chumps who looks a gift horse in the mouth. Is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Aww. All right. I've got a solution. 
This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Wait a minute, this didn't go where I thought it would. So what if I go to the place that it... Uh-huh. You know, I wish you could make a save. So that you can uh, experience multiple branches. No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Oh, I thought for sure that would give me something. Come on, game, throw me a bone. I just wanted to have, like, one quirky interaction. You're not going to let me throw myself in the broom closet again? Ooh, computer. Is that an achievement? Turn off all the computers or something? I bet it is. I'm actually, I'm going to, uh, fuck it, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I can't turn off every computer. I'm just that meticulous. Aha. Oh, no, this guy didn't even have a computer. How poor is he? Of course, I have to turn our own... Well, I won't let me do anything there, but... I guess it doesn't matter. We'll follow the adventure line. Wow. <sighs> oh. Ooh, he was playing free cell. Naughty, naughty... Uh, dev? Come to think of it, what the hell do they even do here? Do they program things? Do they... File things away? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. No, I'm good. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's no. subjective experience of that existence. It's right? all a giant line. Okay. Or a giant now, if loop. If my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back Far then. out, man. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know also, I love how you can take several left now. turns and end up right back where you moment. started. There we go. We got some good music. You're not going to let me go up the stairs any further, huh? What the fuck? Interesting. Ooh, 11. That's a low number. Hmm. It's a mystery game now. Wow, what an innovative game. It can change genres at the drop of a hat. And also, Six has a swanky-ass office. What did, how much dick did Six have to suck to get a, a good office like this? And B5, is that hexadecimal? I gotta wonder. Monthly ledgers, corporate imbalances, consolidation reports, annual of reviews, mental accoutrements. Oh, we're not going down there yet. Personal flies and budget anal cysts. Wait, what? There are two fucking. Did the line just like go in two separate directions? Am I tripping? Oh shit. 
Oh shit, it's doing what it does in Portal. Okay, I see, wow. So it's loading me into a different area. Interesting, okay. So this is a tiny, tiny little thing, but it's large over there. I see now. Employee 432p P review. Jesus Christ, they have to use hammer space to store all. Also, this is so fucking loud. I gotta, I gotta neutralize this. There we go. I had to neutralize the, the volume. Little, little bit. But yeah, wow. What is this garbage? What? Can I eat it? Okay, it has, uh, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifty bajillion fronds, and like a lot of green. Wait, oh, we're back in the office? Like, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Not really. But I do like we came, uh, you know, full circle. So if anything, you know, we've made progress. Going in a circle over and over is making progress, right? Ah, here we go. After we trusted you, after everything we've been through, Aw. The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Is the line gonna get it right this time? I've gotta wonder. Yeah, like how many times I have uh, opened this door. I didn't get that achievement. Aha! Which explains why they wanted me to hit that. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go on. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I'd like for it to be about... Oh, no. Degradation and destruction, yes. I'd also like to beat the line from having any role in our awesome new story. I don't know, I like what I like what the line is packing, and the line is packing some heat. I like that. It TM. I like that I have to trademark every bit about it. I don't know, the line's a pretty cool dude. He doesn't do nothing, you know, he doesn't afraid of anything. He squiggles, doesn't afraid of anything, and I forget how that fucking meme goes. Damn, he shot through the ceiling. Wiggles around, bobs through the ceiling, breaks everything, doesn't elaborate, leaves. God, what a fucking champ that line. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Right, I choose the left door. No matter what, I choose the left door. I don't. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, it must be our reverse door. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with a counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? No. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Can I get the door achievement yet? And yeah, I love the the line too, Phantasma. I don't think he's going to tolerate this. Maybe. Can I go back? Damn, it didn't even let me interact. 
dude. I've been playing for the confusing ending for 18 minutes. Okay. Oh. This door is just literally pointless. Okay. Well, end up in the monitor room, navigate, or narrator restarts the game. First restart. Discover two doors. Room now has many additional. Aimless wandering. Uh, narrator resets the game. Second. Yeah. Narrator restarts the game. Fifth. Forgets about the previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play it, but is, unpre but is prevented. Unable to go anywhere or do anything. Sixth restart. Find the line. Begin following it. Follow an identical replica of the office. has begun to deteriorate. Attempt to make up a story here. Narrator restarts. There is no longer an office. Simply it is a black space. Wander in blackness. Find a bookstore. Get bored and leave. Narrator restarts the game. The narrator's gone. After a long time, Stanley dies. Jesus Christ. I love how self-aware it all is, you know? It's just... Mwah. Well, I will, so fuck you. Oh my, how strange. All of my co-workers are gone. Stanley decided to go to the new content because fuck the police. Hmm. Well, I assume the content is fresher than the previous content. Or something like that, I don't know. Oh. Fascinating. It was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a rematching of the game for consoles and home computers. Ooh, fantastic. Sounds great. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that runs and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I sure hope there's more snappy, self aware writing. Uh, can I? Nope. Still on that track. What side's it going to pop out at? Left or right? Can I give you all motion sickness by begging? Or by trying, I mean. Aha. The jump circle. Oh my god, I can jump. It's not that interesting. And only in the circle. Wow. Pathetic. I mean, at least just like from this point forward, enable jumping. Like, don't, don't jerk my chain, bro. <sighs> Fine, I will do your menial tasks. Just so long as I get a reward at the end, I guess. And... Done. Oh no, I can't do it anymore. They literally stripped me of... Well, wasn't that something? Is, is that it? Sadly. Maybe. We'll see. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. 
It's just elevators and jumping. This is what causes for exciting new content. Maybe. This is new content. And I can just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Oh, cool. I've come to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now there's over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh, wait. There's more. Very cool. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Can I sit in this chair while I do it? Also, give me the ability to fall into dark pits more often. I like doing that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy job. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What? Does it? Uh, I don't have access to the achievements, so... That guy's cheating. Whoops. Quality assurance department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended. I, I intend to film these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> No, it's my fault. I delved into this too early. It's my fault, Mr. Narrator. No, please don't. Oh no, 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 don't do that. Please, no. I, I want to keep going. I can't say anything, so nothing. Oh. Uh. Interesting. Still can't open doors. Oh, hey, look. It's this place. Too bad we can't go in there. I didn't hear anything. Nope. <laughs> no matter how much you insult me, Mr. Narrator, I will never just blindly follow your orders. Until I decide to suddenly blindly start following your orders. Oh shit. This is actually still here. I'm shocked. I thought for sure I'd round the corner and it'd be gone. Nope. 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 He complimented me. Never mind. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta return to the track. It was it was fine until he said, "Oh, you're not a door." Oh shit, the do the content door is locked. Fuck. Uh, left. What the fuck? He. Oh wait, never mind. I thought for sure he he like anticipated me going right. Back on track to the broom closet. Fuck. They've uh, they deleted the broom closet. I've noticed. Very unfortunate. Or no, wait. Sorry, the broom closet was after this. Yeah. Damn it. My bossy. Where is he? Oh yeah, I never actually, like, fucked around with this elevator. What's this all about? Oh yeah, nice good old bossa nova from like the 1940s. Oh, this is where it's at. They just don't make music like this anymore. Wait, 
what? It just took me to the same place. Oh. So every time you click the buttons, it just fools you. Oh, that's so stupid. Come on. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to freeze. And I bet I can prove that. 1989. Nope. No. Two eight four three. Two, eight, four, six. Damn. I feel like I'm on to something here. Two, eight, four, one? Not in the ballpark, huh? Okay. Uh. Never mind then. Yeah, but Stanley also wanted to keep playing with the keypad. I know. Two, eight, four, one, five. Oh, fuck. I actually can't see the keys. Two, zero, eight, whatever. Two, eight, four, five. That didn't do anything. Damn. Thought for sure getting it right after the fact would, like, cause him to say something. Hello, dark secret corridor. How dark and secret are you? Very dark and very secret. Oh god, okay. I can't see, but... I want to say there's like a... It's got to be something. There's a texture I'm seeing. Huh. Okay. Okay. Nineteen forties, you guarantee this track is more like a twenty ten royalty free track. Well, considering this game came out in twenty thirteen, that does put it in the ballpark. Now what if I tried escaping? Escape. Just kidding, it said fall through the hole. Oh cool. How violent. How death. I have to know. Yeah, huh? Right. Yep. I shall walk forward to my death. Wait, what? Oh, I'm still falling. Huh? Huh? Hmm? No? Ah, into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Ah, okay. 
trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death will have made a loss by plucking the eyeballs from the blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Okay. Bye. Huh? Farewell, oh. Stanley. Cried the narrator. Come on. Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah, <sighs> fucking cop out. Of course, they don't have the balls to go through with it. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Hmm. How big of a room is this? Am I the only one who thinks things like this when I see giant black open spaces like how big is the space really? Can I go from one end to the other? When every part Whatever. of the has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see no, that I don't. was already dead from the moment he hit start? But I feel alive. How could I be dead? Anyway, this blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office leads to doors, first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. The core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yep. Yeah, it checks out. Pacing of this open section was important to get it right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player would reach the two doors in a good time. This set of two open doors at first is a very concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once the room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room presented. Office computers that you can all turn off. Wow, Jesus himself programmed the game. Wow, that, that tells you right there this is a fantastic game. Probably. Aha, button sounds. The selection of sounds used throughout the game are when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and the synthesized tone. Cool. The office. The office was a pretty good show from what I heard. The nature paintings. Also really good paintings from nature. Uh, mother to us all, I believe. But sadly, like all things... Or wait. This may just be more of the uh, exhibit. The office in the most drab way possible. Early version of the maintenance room, which is just empty. Oh, the copier. Doesn't work. Partition Corporation. So there's a corporation that makes partitions. Wow. Oh, what's this? The War Zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient. Really? Okay. And would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. I don't know. I think people who like shooters need to be made fun of, too. Alien base awesome. Ultra Deluxe announcements. Oh, is this part of Ultra Deluxe? Really? I thought this was in the base game. Interesting. Interesting. The office is overrated? Nah. It's not that bad. I like that they basically put development history in the part of the game, yeah. In 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe at uh, Game Awards. These are the screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement. Uh-huh. This is spinning out money. 
from Ben Steiger Gloves. Hmm. Dead Strong Bad. How do you type with boxing gloves on? Dead Strong Bad. Dear Strong Bad. I remember that. I know what that's a reference to. Huh. What do the lights in the control room do? I really want to know. Montgomery Jones. Anyway. After the second trailer, we sent out... Uh, uh, people asked the, uh, sorry, fuck. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these for further promotional material, we never found the perfect use for them. Here's a selection of them. What is your message for today? There's a skeleton inside of you. There are more skeletons in this world than humans. I guess. If some people have died, but their skeletons remain. The Lounge in Early Vision. Nice. The Apartment Timer. Hmm. Oh, it just flips back. That's so dis disappointing. I was waiting with bated breath for that damn thing to tick down and everything. Second version is functionally the same as when the final game we wanted to look at more like a place where the cargo was actually stored. Fair enough. The meeting room. The maintenance layout. Hmm. You know, I didn't even know there was a, uh, a vent in the maintenance area. Maybe I ought to have uh, poked around in there harder. The Zending levers? What? These levers were originally part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they pulled. What? Zen? A Zen ending? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Screenshot depicts an earlier version of no the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Interesting. Zending model. Went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon it and change it shortly before launch. Interesting. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. So this was the escape menu. Very interesting. Monitor room elevator. How many, like, parts to this little museum of theirs is there? Oh, did I go back all through all of it? And weave around all of it? Screens from the development of the boss's office. Yeah, I kind of like how they settled on, you know, a sort of regal, lavish look. I kind of like that. The lounge. The underground. Ooh. The narrator outtakes. Okay. Kevin Brighton, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue... Mm-hmm. Recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over two years of development. These clips are from early takes that were not used. Aw. Nothing hidden in the dark corners, really? We will likely be doing this game again. Hey, Canadian crab. We will likely be doing this game again next week, just because there's so much here. Freedom ending. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess so. There was a lot of freedom in that ending. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. 
how they both wish to be free. Yep. And I will be free of your see? pretentiousness. Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. The so only way to win is not to play. Someone else's path. Stop now. Smack. I'm good. Wait, am I just trapped in a black void now? Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, you should be loading, game. Oh, we're still in the ruined stuff, or the new stuff, rather. Interesting. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. <sighs> He's asking me to out myself as an imposter. Should I do that? Can I do that? Is it wise? Alright, I will be the sussy baka and vent. You know, despite this one little s section being tall enough, I can't actually stand up. Whee! Do I have an Xbox? Nope. Yeah, despite having just fallen from up there, I cannot stand up. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? But it no. Got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. There's some sort of a I temple. Call it the memory zone. Oh. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I love how, despite it all looking natural and shit. It's basically just corridors, corridors, corridors. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. No, they back didn't. Then, it all meant something. Oh, it was. Hmm. Well, I mean, it, uh... Didn't do bad. The British Film Academy. For The Last of Us. Wow, they stole the uh, The Last of Us' uh, British Film Academy Award. Jeez. That's desperate. I mean, I won't deny, 2013 wasn't a bad year. A lot of cool shit happened in 2013 that I enjoyed. It's one of the last truly amazing years that I remember. However, that said, you can't live in the past forever, so, you know. How big is this fucking shed? Is that a dollar? Oh, let me guess, the whole one, the first dollar we uh, earned from whatever. It is impossible to get this achievement. Don't play for five years. British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award nominee. But you probably didn't win. Interesting. Los Angeles Times. Oh, I can't even sit on the bench. Come on. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and hmm. quote, 
With so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk, nothing. <laughs> a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Oh, oh. Oh, of course he's not going to let me into the maintenance corridor. Oh, well. Person of the year, generic. Generic AF, of course. These must be hammer map files. Preparing snake oil sell salesman rotation a routine okay Here's another moving passage this time from gamespot.com The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. So you were recommended playing a Godzilla destroys all monsters melee. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. First release on the GameCube and then Xbox. Okay. Well, I don't know about that. Carpet textures, repeatable. Ready for your own game project. Missing coworker scenario, grass trial version. Boring, meeting, gray, and red. Oh, the end is never. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Well, I mean... You know. Time keeps on slipping. I also can't seem to get in there. What if I go back? Aha! So Wait, we can. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collected down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Stem. Oh no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game with full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game uh -oh. is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. He's getting his fifis hurt. What are we going to do? Heaven forbid. He's crying. Get it? The rain? It synonymizes his sadness or whatever? Hello. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying flaps. Preachy? 
<laughs> You're very preachy. Tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Well, actually, I can't because I don't have a mouth in game. But. To be honest, I have always thought of the James dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, I would suit you to, but maybe it wasn't. Hmm. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. Ooh. What's this one got to say? Get that it's supposed to be parable something is listening to the housing voice joining on it is just fun. You constantly have to stop doing anything. <laughs> I wish there was a skip button. Damn. Get wrecked, sir. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Bank. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh boy. Oh, he didn't even put anything cool back here. Come on. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. You're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps... <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Like this? Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's There's no door. It's unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait... How do we get out of here? Hmm. Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I don't feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. What about a skip button? Can that get us into a room? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! Damn. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's there no must be a skip, right? Oh, Stanley, look back. Look back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Only a week? single person to speak and you think that that's just how it's always been right You're right talking and you saying nothing Would you me skipping and you being alone <laughs> i think that fucked it no it's you not here again welcome i have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've i don't know what time it is I've even so much time i stopped keeping track have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No, because I would die. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stan. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, 
what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment, and I felt free. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. Okay, well I'll do it then. Surely if I skip enough, this whole place will just erode, right? Hmm. He seems to have died. Oh no! Who knew the uh, solution was just to... out-exist him? Oh, the clock's frozen. Well, time to skip, I guess. Hehehehe. <laughs> Why is the, uh, whatever. But they didn't understand that game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where oh, are the he's jokes? Just... Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little <laughs> thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's he mad. too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us, now he went, shut up! It's the inconsistency, it's the lack of accountability, it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart. Shut up. So I guess he was just ranting to himself there. Oh shit, the button's dead. Or no, wait, there's just a, uh, a cooldown. Nope. Not doing that. Aha! I was right. We just keep skipping ahead. This place will erode away into nothing. But bingo. The end is never. Aha. Damn, that took uh, exactly one spot. I feel like more places would be eroded, you know? Not just the one corner. At any rate. Oh wow, it's just like my Aperture Laboratories. Boink. Oh. Fuck. Huh. Maybe we skipped ahead too far. Let's keep skipping ahead anyway. Ooh, spoopy. I don't like being any here anymore. Aha! I thought this place would just go belly up eventually. Wow, damn. So we killed the narrator. That's good. Uh, we're stuck in a desert. And I might be late for dinner. I don't know. Either way. Things are looking up.
The sun hasn't gone red giant yet, so we have some time. Oh shit. All of this co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he'll simply miss a memo. Huh. So I guess that's the <laughs> You think he wants me to go in there? Does anybody uh anybody wanna hazard a guess as to what direction he wants me to proceed in? This way, right? No, no, I was joking. Perhaps too majestic. How about I take the first open pit to my death? Like this. In his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Everyone? Or just me? Because I think it's just me. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Is there a paranoia ending? That sounds pretty cool. If I crouch down over here and wait for them to come, nobody will come because, let's face it, nobody's following me. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Still can't get in there. Hmm. You have to go. You have no idea what's going on. Neither do I. And uh, for now. I think I'm just going to call it there. Because let's face it, this game is just such a uh, a ball of mystery, you know? It just needs to have its own chance to breathe. But hey, this was fun. I enjoyed doing this. It's not a bad little uh, crazy uh, adventure. So, you know, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll uh, pick this up next week for more Freeform Friday. I'm going to have some fun with this, I have a feeling. I, I, We've barely scratched the surface on this, just so you know. Like, trust me, this is, this is going to be a wild ride. So, yeah, thank you all for coming out and watching. I will catch you all tomorrow for more Hardcore with Jack. Bye.